First responders who were involved in that deadly Interstate 81 pileup crash last month were honored today. 2822 Eyewitness News reporter Julie Dunphy joining us live from Schuylkill County tonight with more on the ceremony. Julie? Nick Candace, good evening. Just over three weeks ago, hundreds of first responders jumped into action to rescue dozens of people that were trapped on Interstate 81 that day. Now, today, those first responders were honored for their bravery, their commitment, and their service to our community. The morning of Monday, March 28th, began like any other, but quickly turned horrific. As snow squalls coupled with fog entered the area, quickly reducing visibility and causing a horrific chain reaction crash involving more than 50 vehicles, according to the state police. A moment of silence for the six people who died and the several others injured in the I-81 disaster last month in Schuylkill County. The Wegmans Distribution Center in Pottsville, who played a critical role that day housing the crash victims, welcomed the first responders back to be honored by the community. Several local lawmakers were in attendance. And this was perhaps the worst of its kind in Pennsylvania history. Uh, without the trained professionals and volunteers, this could have been so much worse. Fire Chief Eric Eichenberg of Minersville Rescue was one of six honored, representing all those who responded that horrific yet heroic day. I'm only one of the hundreds of volunteers. Yes, it's humbling um, the respect that we've. Received and you know the accolades that we receive from everyone. Many legislators took the time to stress the important role volunteer firefighters and EMS personnel play in our communities. The need is, is dire at this point. Mike Mistician, the director of operations for Goodwill Fire and EMS Minersville, says the state is down to under 40,000 volunteers. 25 years ago, there were 300,000. The volunteer role played a huge role in this incident on the fire and rescue side, as well as the EMS side, just because of the quick responses that we did have and the amount of people that showed up to be able to handle the true chaos that, that really was there on that day. Just hearing that statistic there, comparing right now to last year of the amount of volunteer firefighters and EMS, there is truly a great need. Now, all 50 organizations and agencies that were involved in helping and rescue and the cleanup of this crash were all honored today. Nick